Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I just wanted to let you guys know that the 4th of July event had apparently started sometime today. Now, there's not much that I can personally do with this event, because I completed it quite a while ago. Now, I think last, last year I did go through and catch some of the event fish, just so that you could see where you can catch them, how easy they are to catch, but I do have a playlist and I believe there's somewhere around 20, 20 episodes or more and I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below so that you guys can follow it, but everything that's in it is still valid, still accurate, still relevant, so anyway we're going to continue on with where we are because I really can't do anything, I can't start the missions anymore, it's not even available to me. So, I wish I could, <laughs> but I'm having so much fun with the Kajino Re stuff that I really am perfectly fine not going on, honestly. So, but anyway, the main thing that you guys need to be aware of is that it only takes place in North America, and any place that you see the little flag symbols above, like we can go ahead and jump in here to Lone Star, and you can still get some free gear. I'm going to jump in here because it ain't going to cost me anything. Yeah, you can get some free stuff. Yeah, look, I mean, I have completed everything. Yeah, I have gotten all the missions. I have gotten all the fish. But we jump in here. It looks like I can't remember if they're over here or over on this side of things. Ah, oh, here's the flag. Yeah, you can come over here and... Get some fireworks. Sometimes you can get lures in these things. I can't remember if there's any other places that you can pick it up. But let's go ahead and shoot a cannonball, which I think I have a ton of those. And I got nothing. <laughs> Sounds about right for me. Looks like we have a club guy over here. They probably are taking part of a competition so I think that's all there is here guys honestly at this point Indo Fishing Club 2 hmm. and Gav's Bass so he's level 6 he's a oh, wow he's level 85 I'm impressed <laughs> Mr. Big yeah let's go ahead and Take a look here. I don't think there's anything else on this particular map that you can do. There's pretty much the cannon and the flag. And just about every one of them have that available to you. But a lot of times you can get some free bait, some free lures, some fireworks. Cool stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave. We're going to go back to Kajino Re. I went ahead and jumped out to let you guys know about that. Plus, I need to do some repair work to some of my gear. Sometimes you got to just repair your gear. You know what I'm saying? All right, looks like I got to make some repairs here. I'm trying to repair as much of this stuff as I can because I got a butt ton of cash here. But yeah, once you get through that, that's the only thing. They haven't done anything new with the event, so once you've completed it, you're kind of you're kind of done. Anyway, we're gonna go back to Kajino Ri, way over here on the other side of the world, and we're gonna travel there. Yeah, no kayaks. I hadn't noticed that until 
the last time I came out, I was like, oh wow, you cannot use a kayak here. I guess that would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Too many waves. Yeah, I think eventually, if my time runs out on this, I might get the... Uh, was it the Explorer Pack? Let me make sure on that, because... I would love to have both ships, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, see the... See, I have the Japanese Odyssey Pack. The Ocean Voyager Pack has a smaller boat, and I wouldn't mind having that as well. Plus, I would have some extra gear. That would allow me to troll. I mean, that's a, I know it's a lot of money, but I'm telling you guys, I have had a blast with this, and I am... I'm going to probably eventually do that, but I don't have to do it right now because I still have plenty of time. And we're going to keep doing this as long as we can. But I think today what we're going to do, I've contemplated doing some exploration. I've got the monster mission, the Kajino Re monster lobster mission, and had to kind of take a break from it because I just wasn't catching the little buggers. So I'm, I don't think you want to see me do that again. So I think what I'm going to go ahead do is do something a little different. We'll come back to this once we've caught all the monster, or I want to call them monster lobsters, mutant lobsters. We'll come back to that and we'll, we will go after the uh, grouperzilla together. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little bit of exploration because I've been told that there are seaweed, like Sargasso Seas, out in this particular location somewhere. Haven't found them, haven't seen them, but this is a big, big map, and most of what I've explored has been on this side of things. But there's a whole area over on this side that I have never been, and I haven't seen, from what I've researched, that that many people have gone over there either. Might be interesting to see what's over there. Might be some other real big hot spots. Good place to play some navigation buoys, if nothing else. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and create a club room. And we will... We're going to have to do some sailing. It's the only way to do it. Let's go fishing. Let me go ahead and put that away. Is our kitty cat friend over here? No, he's not. That's interesting. Maybe it was only because of that one mission that I had to complete. Yeah, there are no cats here. Yeah, I know I have to still finish that one. I've got two, two or three missions still ongoing. But let me show you what I'm talking about on the map here, guys. You see this area over here? I mean, the island's way up here, almost in the upper portion of the map. There's a few areas that have not been explored at all. Now, I do have a navigation buoy here and I'm going to work on that to try to get that to you know produce something. I have seen fish there. What type of fish I'm not certain about. That might be revealed with the maintenance missions. I'm not sure. But this area over here I'm interested in exploring a little bit. Maybe along here too. Because there's some drop-offs there that are proving, you know, these drop-offs tend to be interesting. There's like a little divot here. That's really very interesting. And then over here, this big, huge area here is just a lot of nothing. I mean, there's a lot of nothing areas. And I'm kind of wondering, what's out there? What is out there? And this one's really strange. What is that? Now, if any of you had any... Microbiology, it reminds me a lot of a mitochondria. Anybody know what a mitochondria is? Look it up. Anyway, if you've ever looked at a cell under the microscope, this looks like the, what they call the powerhouse of the cell. That's what it reminds me of. But there is a rock over here. A small island out in the middle of nowhere. That kind of grabs my interest. In fact, so much so that I think I might head that direction and try to go through here see what that's all about. Well, anyway, let's go ahead. We'll, I 
it's going to be a little easier if we fast travel out of here to here. Oh, I actually have to be on the boat. I didn't realize that. Never tried it from land. Alright. Now let's go there. Okay. Alright, we are in the ocean. And my suggestion is to try to get ourselves oriented here because... We've got to hold, make sure we're headed the right direction. We are going to open her up. And we are going to get there at top speed. Which is about, about 30 miles an hour. I mean, it's not like super fast. Okay, good. Sometimes I can't get this to scroll in, which is kind of weird. But we need to be going about this position. There's a little island right there. We need to be going to the left of that, probably. Alright, guys. I am back. And I am out in the middle of no stinking where. Yeah, if you look over there, there's this one... Lone rock all by itself. And if you look at the map here, this is the one I'm looking at. From what I can tell, there is no surrounding structures at all. It did take a while to get out here. As I went over this area, I didn't really see anything unusual. It just seems kind of quiet. But it's very shallow. I mean, it's not over 200 feet deep. So I have no idea what's out here. I do know that when we advance time, this will probably reveal whatever's down there. Like, look at it. 112 feet. That's it. Very shallow. And my guess is it's pretty much like that all over this place. So what do we got out here? We obviously aren't going to find any ruby snapper here. So what are we going to find? That's the interesting thing. See, I love to do this kind of stuff. Well, let's advance time a little bit. Let's see if we see anything. Let's go to about, about 12 p.m. And nothing's revealing itself on the sonar. I don't see anything odd about the ocean itself. Well, let's head over to that little, whatever it is. I think there's a boat over there. Yeah, there is. So we're not out here alone. Not totally, anyway. There's no cruise ships back in sea. So apparently there's not much of interest here except maybe to fishermen. So let's head over this way. Let's see if we run into any kind of fish or anything on our sonar. Wait a minute, what's that? What is... what the heck? Well, that's interesting. See, that's not what I placed. Let me get off. Let me get down here. Now this is some kind of a GPS thing, apparently. Yeah, this could be in a later maintenance mission, uh, honestly. I mean, I'm only up to, like, number 9 or 10. I don't remember which one exactly, but... kind of curious as to what that is. If there's a purpose, a, po a poipus. <laughs> but I think I might go ahead and place a navigation buoy. And the only reason I'm going to do that is so that I can get out of here quickly. That way I have to go through all that again. 
can always delete them, replace them. So I'll put that right next to that little guy there. There are fish down there, though. So whatever it is, we're not picking them up here. But whatever they are, they're on the bottom. I have no idea what they might be. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and get down here. Let's throw... Let's throw a couple rods out and just see what we got out here. Yeah, I've got my pilker. That might not be a bad idea to use. And I'm going to throw a bottom rod out with a sea worm on it. What size hook do I have? I have a six aught. Eh, let's take it down a little bit. Let's take it down to about a two aught. Just curious as to what's here. Love this. this I love exploring. It's so much fun. Yeah, if they're small, we'll get them. Not so sure if I want to use sea worms. Sea worms single out job fish, that's true, but let's try finger mullets because that's going to open it up a little bit to other species. We don't have to toss it out too far, it's not that deep. Take her down. Let's see what we got out here. Maybe our little system will sink itself up and we can see some fish on the sonar. I don't know. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's might put another small bottom rod out here just to see. Now that was for using that for other purposes, if you remember right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and throw on. Let's. Okay, let's put something on there that we might get. Yeah, the Japanese flying squid might not be a bad idea. Keep it at a five odd. I don't think these are going to be some big fish. We'll throw this one way out there. I need to do some repair work on that line. The line's about shot. Alright, let's just put it right about there, and we'll do some pilking as well. Maybe with a smaller... Whatever's out here is not going to be very big. Contemplating even using this. Actually, I think I might. Better way I can get a little more casting distance. Oh, I'm getting a bite. That's cool. Yep, it's this one. Ah, he quit. Well. No idea what's out there. Well, he might come back. Yeah, we are a long way from home. <laughs> yeah, the pilking usually does very well. It seems like there's a lot of species that go for this. I'm hoping I don't get anything too big. Because it does some serious damage to the rod over time. Alright. Well, let's go back up here. I'm going to take a look at this. Yeah, we've got fish down there. See? There's little bitty fish down there. Most of them seem to be on the bottom, too. Yeah, you heard that, too, I'm sure. Came from this direction. I don't... 
That's a boat, I think. I don't see any birds. Wait a minute, look, 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 look. Over there by the island. There are birds. Hmm. Wait a minute. We might have us a buy here. Let's see what's going on. Which one? Well, this one again. Ah, we got it. We got it. All right. Whatever it was went after the Japanese Jack Mackerel. And it is Big Fin Reef Squid. Oh, we can always count on catching these little guys. Alright, let's go over there to where those birds are. I bet you, bet you those little things swimming around. I don't know, there was a little bit bigger one there. Could be just a bunch of big fin reef shirt. Big fin reef squid. That's easy for me to say. Big fin reef squid. <laughs> hey, la, 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 la. All right, let's see here. Yeah, let's check this out over here, guys. Because we're still a good ways from the island. But I see, at least I did, see birds. And where there are birds, there are fish. Okay, I'm going to try to scope out the horizon here a little bit. Well, I'm hearing some things moving about. See, we could have had a wind change, too. That's something else that just occurred to me. As far as we are, I'm surprised you can still see the mainland. Okay. Let's take our speed down here. We're going to do a little bit of trolling, see if we can't get something. Ah! Fish! Lots of fish. Check it out. Fish, fish everywhere. Fish. Cool. At all levels, too. There are the birds. I don't know why I wasn't seeing the birds earlier. Well, I tell you what, guys. It is time. It is time. Let's get our... And we have... You see that darkened area down there? It's a thicker line that you might see occasionally. That means there's reef down there. So we're going to have a little bit different stuff going on here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to do some trolling for sure. Not the pilker. Let's try something else here. Maybe not anything as big as what I've been fishing with, but let's try... Let's see here... I try I try the bucktail got two of them well, let's just try a trolling octopus we'll try a small one to start off with I didn't put a squid chain can I put a squid chain on that no I can't I don't think I can yeah I can Put a small one on there. I have not tried this very much, so I don't know how well it's going to do. Let's throw this out there, but we definitely have birds. So God only knows what's out here. And I'm trying to decide if I should risk using another one or not. We could use this one with the pilker. We could use something else. Pilker might be a good idea. There are other things we can use, though. We 
could do some live bait trolling. That might not be a bad thing to try. Again, let's try a little bit. Okay, let's do just that. Let's see what we can get here. I'll put some sinkers on there. And what should we use to does that say too heavy? It did say too heavy. What size sinker can I put on? Okay, I'm gonna have to put probably this one. There we go. That's better. We could use finger mullets, Japanese anchovies. Let's try the anchovies. All right. Yeah, we're gonna mix this up a little bit. Ooh, holy crap! We got something on going after this already. Yeah, we're going to have some fun, guys. This is going to be fun. These guys can't wait. They're already chomping at the bit. Of course, I can't cast where the day gone. Alright, let's throw that out there. We'll see what the heck's swimming around this island. I probably ought not have it out that far. Let's go with about 85. There we go. Oh, goodness. We got a lot of fish. They don't look all that big either, so that's good. <sighs> hate when I do that. I meant to hit W and hit E and shut it back down. Alright. Let's go with a reasonable speed, about 4. And three. What we'll do is we'll just circumnavigate the island where all these fish are. I was so thrilled to see the fish pop up. That was so cool. There seems to be more surface fish up here. There's bottom ones too. what we've got out here, but they don't seem to go much further out than that. Ah, there we go. I think he might have got off, but we might have one on this one. Ah, shoot. Really? Ah, they didn't really get hooked, did they? Okay, well... Yeah, it's not a big area. Tell you what, let's just grab the daggone pole and see what happens. Okay, whatever it is, we've got it this time. And it's coming in, so it's not enormous. And we got one on the other one, too. Stop the boat. Hate having to do that. Come on. Ah, God bless it. Sometimes when you hit that button, it still takes you back up. There we go. Now we're getting it in. 
a little bigger than I anticipated, but we'll see what the heck it is here. I have no clue what we got here. And it is a dog tooth tuna. All right. That's our first fish out here. Where we got that off the trolling octopus with the squid chain, six inch. We did have something on the other one, but whatever it was, either got off. Yeah, we don't have it anymore. Let me check the bait, though, first. Well, it sure looked like there was something on there, didn't it? <laughs> something. I don't know. I think that's like a bug. It seems like it does that every now and then, where they'll, they'll go down when you're using some kind of a lure. But there's never anything on it, so I'm never sure about that. What is messing around here? Yeah, we're just on the outskirts of where the fish are supposedly located. Let's take it up to about 5%. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Looky there. You see that? That's those birds I saw earlier. And we have tuna. Oh, goodness. We have tuna. We have lots of tuna. We need to pull this one in. Yeah, I don't know that it can handle tuna, guys. Take it about 4%. We'll go right through here and we'll see what kind of tuna we got. But it looks like yellowfin. Holy crap, look at them all. Look at all those fellas. Man, these are some big fellas. I've only caught a regular size one, so I'd love to get one. May need to change our. No, we should be alright. We should be alright. Make sure here. Let's check the yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin tuna here. Let's see. Yeah, we did catch a trophy one. Okay. Everything I'm using, they go for. Some plugs, trolling octopuses, squid chain, crankbait, crankbaits. Poppers and minnows, huh? That's interesting. Uh-oh, we do have one. Let's see. Get down there, daggone it. Okay, we got it. We've got us a yellow fin. All right. This might be a yellow fin hotspot, because, I mean, even though I saw them up in the other one, my God, look at them all. I haven't seen them in this quantity. That's for darn sure. What we got here, guys? No, it's a trophy albacore. <laughs> New personal record. It's a first trophy, I believe. Let's take a look at this fellow. Trophy albacore. That's not what's jumping around, though. So we still got a possible yellowfin tuna of large size that we might be able to get. Let's get a picture of him, though. It's a nice fish. A very nice fish. Okay, we'll keep him. Ah, I wish I had another heavy rod.
Definitely got to fix that soon. Let's put that at about 84. 84 is good. 84 is good. All right, let's put back up here. Get this thing rolling. Yep, they're showing up on the sonar now. Yeah, the sonar is kind of weird the way it works. Alright, we're going to turn this sucker around and head right back through that field where they were jumping. Can't tell if they're still jumping or not, but at least we know where they are now. Oh my gosh, look. Can you see all that? These birds are all the way down through there. Just escaped due to a little line tension. Dang it. There are birds everywhere. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we just need to sail right on. This could be a hot spot, guys. This could be a hot spot. I'm not seeing them jump anymore, but I'm seeing birds all the way down to that ship over there. Yeah, this is definitely worth the trip. There they are. Let's head right down the middle of them here. Like I said, they're going all the way out there towards that ship. There's a whole bunch of birds out there. Those might be albacore. Somehow I missed the yellow fin. Look at them all. Yeah, we just need to keep heading this direction. We will eventually hook into something. And there it is. We got him. Yeah, I think we got his albacore. Yep, Abacor. We have Abacor. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't get the yellowfin tuna just yet, but we still got a lot of exploration to do, and there's still plenty of birds out there, so. God bless it. Did it again. The tuna are jumping. Oh wait a minute, we've we've got something. Yep, we got something. And it's big. Eh, maybe not as big as I thought. Sometimes initially they pull up really, really hard. Let's see. I think we got us another albacore. Yep. Well, plenty of albacore. We're talking around 5,000 cash each. Can't beat that. Get enough of those. Definitely fill your boat. No time. Okay, let's go back up here because I want to still head towards those birds. They're over there, okay. Kind of got sidetracked by that guy. And we do have something on there. Let me, let me see if I can get in it without... Well, no, I don't think we can. I'm going to have to stop it.
Yep, we definitely got us a, a little. This one's a. Oh, this one's much bigger than the last one was. Yep. It is probably another albacore. We have not gotten the unique yet, so working on that. That's another trophy. There you go. Didn't beat the other one, but 75.44 cash and 60 pounds. It's not too bad. Alright, let's throw that out again. Also, I've been seeing a lot of things down near the bottom. I don't think we're going to have time to do that in this episode, but there's definitely reason to come back next time and maybe focus on the... Oh, wow. What do we got going on over there? Yeah, we've got something. There they are. Yellowfin tuna. Let's head right through them. See if we can't get one to bite. Look at them all. I love those big fins they have. Just... Wow, that is so cool. I love the graphics they did for this game with the fish jumping like that. Let's try a little faster. Maybe they like a faster speed. And what we've been getting is, like I said, the albacore, so... We're going right through the middle of them. Yeah, no takers. Oh, come on, guys. Really? Oh, there we go. Now, let's see if he stays on. Yeah. I think we got us one, guys. I think we got us one. Must have picked him up last minute there, but... Let's see if this is our yellow... There's another albacore. I'll be darn. What is with these guys? Why are they not biting? Hold on. Let me see here. Maybe there's something they would go for more than what I've got on there. Let's see. No? Squid chain? Trolling octopuses? Plugs. Could try a plug. Yeah, let's try a plug. Maybe that'll get their attention better. I don't know. Where the shot? Let's see. Where are they? Yeah, let's try one of these that are a little bit bigger. Oh, and I can have the chain on. That's cool. That ought to double up on it. Okay. Honestly, didn't know you could do that. Yeah, this is definitely a tuna hotspot that I have discovered here. It's definitely worth the trek. Now that we've got a navigation buoy, we can get out here anytime we want. Alright, let's take that back down to 5%. Yeah, they stopped jumping. But they're still here, that's for sure. Okay, I'm hearing something.
Yeah, like I said, I definitely want to do some bottom fishing here too. There they are. There they go again. Ah, there we go. Oh, seriously? Good grief. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, he was on there and then we lost him. Shoot. All right, let's get it going again. I think I have one this time. Let's see here. Okay, we've got one on here for sure. All right, we got him on there. I think we can set it down this time if we're quick about it. Okay, this guy's considerably bigger. Than what we've looked into so far. Well, these guys are tricky. We got them jumping all over the place here. Ah, yeah, definitely a bigger fish. Don't you even think about it. Hmm. Come on. He's going to take it out. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Holy crap. Got to be careful, though. It is definitely doing its darndest to get off this line. Yep, we got us a fight. We got us a fight. giving it up. Jeez. It's going under the boat. Alright, I think we got him, guys. There he is. A unique albacore. That was definitely worth it. It wasn't a yellow fin, but I'm definitely happy to get him because that's as big as they come. 14,594 cash, 115 pounds. There he is. Nice fish. That's as big as they come, guys. Might be able to get them a little bigger if you get a bigger unique, but I knew I had a good size one. Still haven't got any of the yellow fins. We're going to have to work on that. That's definitely going to have to be on another episode. We're going to... They're definitely prolific around here, though. But look how big the, the their uh, pectoral fins are. They almost look like... Flippers or something. Huge. Alright. Get a picture of him. Ok, 
keep him, and we are going to mark that spot. Unique Albacore. Plug six and seven eighths ounce. Ten odd hook. Squid chain six inch four pieces. That's what brought him in. Well, guys, that's definitely enough time to call an episode. There's, there's plenty of action to go on, but yeah, this is definitely an interesting spot here. Like I said, it's way out here in the middle of nowhere. Almost to the bottom of the map. But definitely check it out if you get a chance or the time to make the trek. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.